Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently uh, 20 past 11 on uh, 18th, Monday the 18th of September, took me a second to figure that out. I'm currently reading Haven't They Grown by Sophie Hanna and it's, uh, it's alright so far. It's got a really interesting premise. Whether she executes on that we will see and um, I don't know, it's a thriller as well and I'm not, not really huge on thrillers. Um, they're okay, Biggie's down there, uh, he says hello. And I'm just cracking on and being productive and I'm off to go and do some more of that now, so I will catch you soon. Dane reads. Yo, what up homies? It is uh, 25 to 10 on Tuesday the 19th of September. I don't have a huge amount to update you guys on really, I've just continued to work, still reading Haven't They Grown by Sophie Hanna. I worked about 3am last night and then fell asleep and then woke up at like 4pm this evening because the clock in my bedroom ran out of battery so I kept looking at it and being like oh it's only quarter to seven in the morning I'll go back to sleep I'll go back to sleep and I kept doing that until I realized that it was actually like 3 4 p.m. in the afternoon and I'd slept through half of the day so I have changed the battery in that now so that won't happen again but yes I went to the gym earlier um, I forgot my water bottle so I got very dehydrated and very dizzy um, on the exercise bike and also I did take my book but it, there were too many people there I felt a bit self-conscious so I just played on my phone instead um, but I'm now back at home, cracking on and being productive, and that is the plan for the rest of this evening. Mm -hmm. Hello, it is um, five past three on the morning of Thursday the 21st of September. Yesterday wasn't a great day, I was feeling pretty uh, pretty depressed to be honest, so struggling with that. Um, just stayed in bed, I mean according to my Fitbit I was just checking, I think it said I've, I slept 16 hour, 18 hours 17 minutes yesterday. So yeah, I pretty much just slept all day. Um, yeah, it wasn't the best. Um, so I'm now awake and trying desperately to catch back up with things. I'm slightly better today, but I'm still not really in the zone, you know? Um, but I have to be up and productive because there's little shitloads happening today. I've got my new oven coming. They said between 8.33 and 12.33 today. My cleaner's coming early evening and then in the afternoon I have some people to look at. Um, we get some new windows in, again more money. I might have to spend some more money on a new laptop because my laptop is fucked as well. Which again, last thing that I want to do really. I have sort of seen it coming for a little while. One of the keys has fallen off the keyboard but now some of the other keys just aren't even working. So I was trying to do some work in bed last night and the only way I could do it was I had to copy and paste the letter A if I wanted to type a letter A. So that wasn't good. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I suppose we will see. But it's getting to the point now, like I use that to do calls. And by the way, I have a call tomorrow as well. Um, but I'm going to have to switch around and start using my PC. Um, I have to do a test to see if I can set it up. Because otherwise, I can't, I'm can't. i going to get to the point where I'm not going to be able to log into my laptop. Because the, not enough of the keys on the keyboard are working for me to type out my password. Um, I could just get a USB little keyboard, which is potentially what I'm going to do for the short term, but I am still going to need a new one in the longer term. So money is a stressor. Um, I don't have much else to update you on. Biggie's in the window over there. I can hear him licking himself. I'm still reading that Sophie Hannah book. I say reading it. I haven't really read much. Didn't go to the gym yesterday, so if I can, I will go today to do a jog. Uh, as tomorrow would be my day off anyway, because then Saturday it's park run again, so I'm going to give that a go. So yes, that's where we're at. Hello everybody, it is 10.30am uh, on Sunday the 24th of September. Um, I'm still reading Haven't They Grown by Sophie Hanna, just a little over halfway through it now. Um, so it's going okay so far, I'm still interested in it, which is always a good sign. Um, I've been doing a lot of work, uh, work's actually been going pretty well, I've made a little bit extra over the weekend which is good because I need the money to pay for new carpets and things like that and to just pay off my overdraft. Um, so yeah there is that, my mum is currently driving down to visit me so she's staying until Tuesday, she's staying at a, like a premiere inn just down the road. But yeah she's going to come and, she's going to get here about noon and then we're going to go to the farm shop and to Asda and to the big B&N to have a little browse around at some, do some shopping and stuff and then going to go have some food and then she is going to go and check into her hotel room. Tomorrow I think we're going to Marlow and we're going to a garden centre and then Tuesday we're probably going to go for a mooch around the charity shops in town and I'm going to go and show her where Shay works. Speaking of Shay, I believe that's her who's pinging me now. 
I did park run on Saturday and did pretty well. I got a new personal best, which sounds really good until you realize that I've only run in it twice. But yes, I beat my time from before. However, my knee is now a bit janky. It's a bit painful. Um, and I'm just cracking on and being productive. I don't know how long this week's vlog is. Let me have a quick check here. It's not very long. It's three and a half minutes. So I guess we're going to continue until next week. Um, yeah, and I got a copy of the Le the Yeag letters. Yeag, is that how you pronounce it? By Allen Ginsberg and William S. Burroughs. Um, this is actually pretty cool. I got this uh, with a free Amazon voucher that I got for using Honey, the... Um, web browser not the web browser the app that saves you money and gives you vouchers not the hashtag not spawn yo hello it's me it is um half past nine on monday the 25th of september um yes it's been good my mum has been down i can't remember whether i updated you yesterday but yesterday we um we went to asda uh we went to the farm shop and um, we went to Home Bargains and just got some really like, did a little bit of shopping together basically, you know. Then we went uh, for a kind of evening meal together at the uh, restaurant at the hotel where my mum is staying. That was about it. Um, today, she picked me up about 11am we went off to Marlow, um, which is a little... I guess it's a small town. It's where I used to work actually back in the day. Um, but we went for a browse around there because they have some nice posh shops. They have some charity shops as well. I have a ton of books to haul for you guys. Biggie, Biggie is just passed out on the floor in the background. I think he's lying on his catnip. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. Yeah. Anyway. So that was nice to have a wander around. Like I say, I got a bunch of books to haul. I actually got some really nice bread, which I've just been eating. Some sourdough bread. So I've been having that. Um, yeah, and then after that, we went to a garden centre because my grandma and my dad's side had given me a gift voucher for £30. So went and spent that. Got some new bits for the garden. Got some plants. Got some display bits. Uh, I got a new book from there as well, actually. And then we had some food at the cafe. Um, and then my mum dropped me back off home. Um, I really quickly went to the gym. Um, she went to Quick Fit to get her tyres sorted on her car because there's been like a low pressure warning. Then she just headed back to hers. I had some calls to do. Um, and then I'm going to meet her tomorrow morning. She's coming here about 10am. We're going to go for breakfast. Going to go for a wander around town. And we're going to show her where Shay works as well. Uh, Shay might be meeting us if she's awake. We will see. Um, I'm pretty tired. I mean, I went to bed early last night. I went to bed at like 8pm and slept till like 10am today, but I'm still quite tired. So I don't know how late I'll be, be going. Uh, while I was at the gym, I finished reading that because I've been reading while going on the exercise bike because my knee's a bit sketchy, so I can't really jog at the moment. Um, but I finished reading um, Haven't They Grown by, so by Sophie Hanna. Strong 3.5 out of 5. The ending um, was pretty good or the, the explanation and all of that, so I did enjoy that. And I'm now reading A Concise Chinese to English Dictionary for Lovers by Zhao Lu Guo. Um, now, this is a book that I've been meaning to read for a while. Um, it's in, um, so I have the vintage mini moderns box set. Um, or at least I had it, I think I've since sold it, but I read all the books in it. And I had an excerpt of this and it was one of my highlights. Um, and so yes, I'm just really enjoying reading it now. It's very well done. Basically it's about like a Chinese peasant girl uh, who comes to the UK to better study English and she falls in love while she's here. Um, but also it's kind of like, I was trying to explain this earlier, it's not quite a coming of age book. Um, because she is already of age, she's like 23. Um, but certainly she hasn't really seen the world. Um, she's familiar obviously with Chinese culture from her small village, but not with life in London. So she's very much getting her eyes open to that and her own sexuality and all of this stuff. So really fascinating book, really well written as well. Uh, written quite a lot in like vernacular. So for example, let's skip it at random. Um, I already have very famous reputation in my language school. Um, she's famous for being rude. But it's again, it's a cultural thing. So yeah, really interesting stuff. It also highlights a lot of stuff about like the English language, which I'd never really thought about. So um, it's on course for five out of five on one of my books of the year, but we'll see how it goes. Um, so I think that's where we're at. I'm gonna go and do a little bit more filming, a little bit more productivity and stuff, and I'll, I'll catch up with you in a bit. All right, hello everybody. It is me. It is currently quarter to seven on the evening of Tuesday, the 26th of September. I'm pretty tired. Um, 
I was up early-ish to go and have breakfast with my mum, which was nice. Then we potted around town. Uh, I showed her where Shay worked. We got a few bits. Went around the charity shops. I went to Primark as well, so I got some new clothes, which is very exciting. And I got a few books that I've just filmed the haul of. Um, my mum headed back about half twelve. Um, and I've just been, been productive ever since. I had a call earlier which went okay and then I went to the gym which didn't go as okay. I fell off the treadmill. I was on for an, a personal best and then I fell off the treadmill and, and set off the um, auto shutdown. So that's quite annoying. Um, but hey ho, I mean I still burnt like 700 calories. I just wish I'd got that personal best. And now my both of my knees hurt in fact. Um, I probably will go back tomorrow but I'll probably go back on the cycling machines. I don't know, we'll see. I'm back to my knees feel okay again now so maybe i'll try another run i don't know no i shouldn't i shouldn't do two runs in a row um i'm still reading uh, the Ch concise chinese english dictionary for lovers by Zalo Gro. that's still on course for a five out of five still very much enjoying it um i don't know what i'm going to read next i did pick some oh i've got a vegan cookbook that i'm going to go through next i think i think that's going to be my next thing um and yeah shay's working today she got asked to work like an extra shift so she's been at work all day and I'm just being productive and the house is a mess somehow it's just so many jobs that need doing you know oh hello it is um what is it it's 10 past 5 on Friday the 29th of September um, I'm still reading a concise Chinese to English dictionary for lovers by Zalu Guo um, very close to the end now it's very enjoyable still on course for a 5 out of 5 um, although the ending I don't know, because she's kind of gone touring Europe and stuff, I understand why she did, but I think I would have preferred it if she'd have stayed in the UK. Um, I don't know, it kind of wouldn't really have worked, the story wouldn't have really worked without that though. Um, my knees are still knackered, so it's not good. So I've been hobbling around a little bit, trying to do some housework and things like that. Definitely in no shape to gym at the moment. Definitely in no shape to do park run tomorrow. I did sign up to do a fun run of 5k in December though, a Santa themed one. So you dress up like Santa and raise money for charity. Um, so yes, when that's coming closer, I guess I'll just need to be wary and not push myself too much in like the week or so leading up to it. Just in case I do go ahead and injure myself. I mean, to be fair, both times now that I've injured myself, I've, I've, I've gone for a run when I haven't been 100%, oh, my phone's going off. But I have been like 80, 90% and then that's enough, you know. I, I guess I just need to always feel 100% when I run, otherwise I'm gonna do myself a mischief. Anyway, yeah, cracking on with that. Um, Shay's coming over this evening, or hopefully anyway, and we're supposed to be going for uh, dinner. Lunch or dinner, I think dinner tomorrow for one of her friend's birthdays um, to a Chinese restaurant, so. Apparently they don't really understand what vegan is, so that's not good. Um, yeah, we will see. I'm not. It's one of those where I'm not going to be able to enjoy my food, even if they get it right, because I'll just be so paranoid about it, and it's going to be expensive. And we learned today that there is a, a dress theme to it, which I'm not going to take part in because they only decided it at midnight the day before the event. And I have no money and I can't walk into town even if I want to. So, yes. Anyway, there is that. That's happening this weekend. I think that's the main thing, to be honest. Other than that, I'm going to be trying to rest as much as possible. Keep my feet up. Do a little bit of work. Get paid. Get laid. Hey. All right, I'll catch you later. Hello everybody, it is me, it is your boy. I am uh, still very sore on my knees. It is currently 25 past five on Saturday the 30th of September, last day of the month, so uh, invoicing tomorrow, hooray. Um, the downside is that all my bills have to be paid, so I am going to be very poor very soon. Um, but yes, we are off to uh, have uh, dinner at a Chinese restaurant later, so I think Shay's on, it's picking me up at half six, and we're going straight from here, and then get a taxi back. I'm not particularly looking forward to it, to be honest, but, um, you know, it's got to be done. I'm doing it to support Shay. So, she has been off shopping and getting a few bits for that as well, so she's quite excited. I'm still reading, uh, the Chinese English Dictionary for Lovers. Very close to the end, about 20 pages from the end now, so I'll finish that soon, and then just whiz through my vegan cookbook, I think. Um, and that's about all I've got for you. Um, I probably will wrap this vlog up at the end of the weekend as well. We will see. Hello everybody. It is uh, quarter to six on Sunday, the 1st of October, 2023. Uh, we went for our Chinese restaurant meal yesterday. It was quite nice. It was expensive though. I mean, the entire 
for Shay and I to eat and get there and back, it was like 70 quid. Um, which is money neither of us really has. Well, Shay has more than me because she's been paid for her first uh, month, or for most of a month at her new job, uh, which she's actually working at today. But yes, the food was pretty good. They didn't really understand what veganism was. They said everything on the vegetarian menu is also vegan. And then on the vegetarian menu, it has something with oysters in. It's like, that's not even vegetarian, mate. And then like, obviously the noodles, they got egg noodles, so it's not vegan. So it was a bit of a faff getting all that sorted, but yeah, it was a lovely evening. Um, our friend whose birthday it was had brought vegan cake for us to eat as well, so that was nice. We were there like an hour before everybody else, so we were just hanging around, waiting. But, you know, it was nice enough because it meant, meant we got a bit of time together as well. Played some Mario when we got back. Mario Wii, so that was good. Um, and then, yes, yeah, slept. My, my knees are still fucked. Um, I'm still reading a concise Chinese to English dictionary for lovers, but I'm literally, I think I'm, well, I'm in the afterword. I'm like four pages from the end. So I'm going to finish that in a minute and then um, pick up the uh, vegan cookbook that I have. So that's exciting. Uh, and I've been doing some stuff out in the garden as well. Let me try and show you, even though my knee is terrible. Oh, mysterious girl. <sighs> okay. So there we go. That's the garden. So basically you can see kind of from there onwards uh, the borders of the garden. Neighbours have let me have that so I've planted some more stuff down there like some asparagus, some trees. Um, and we've got my bits down there. And it's freed up some more space in the garden which means I can put more tubs out next summer. Some extra fruit, uh, well, veggies in. Maybe some carrots or something, I don't know. Um, but yes, and I've been putting all the solar lights out, so there's solar lights going all the way down the, the path now, which there didn't used to be, because obviously I used to only bother with my bit. So, oh fucking hell. That's where we're at. I think I'm going to love you and leave you, I guess, um, because why not? So, uh, as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. <laughs>